Hey, good morning. Haven't put my phone out yet to record the birds because it's still dark out. It is Friday morning, March 3rd, 2023, little after 6.30 a.m. <coughs> okay, so I said I was going to get some wooden matches. You know, I don't like it, even though these last a long time. I don't like creating all this waste and all this plastic waste. Uh-uh. I'm not going to get those anymore. So, okay. Now, in buying these, I ended up having to buy... They didn't come in single packages. How many did I end up buying? I don't know where I... I think I have something like 900 or 1,200 matches now. So I probably don't need to buy any, like, maybe ever again. Okay. So... Let's see if I can, oops, here, I want you to be able to see that. We'll see if I can do this. Boy, I haven't struck a match in years. So, there we go. Okay, and you know, you can always turn it sideways. Okay, so now the only thing is I don't want to throw this in the trash. I always take a little bit of water and just make sure a match is out. And actually, I'm just gonna lay it on the side of the sink there to give it a good chance to cool down because I don't know what's in my trash and I don't want to ignite anything. Okay, so next thing this morning, I got my heavy whipping cream. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm just in the habit of shaking things because of using plant milks. I don't know if I will use this up or give it away or something. I'm just going to take a little bit here. Okay, that's about a tablespoon. Now, I didn't want to dirty up my milk frother. So I got out my, um, what do you call this? <laughs> it's not a magic wand, uh, hand mixer. Okay, let's see, how can I show this so you can see it? Um, let's try this. Yeah, you can see that. So look, the reason that I'm doing it like this is See, that kind of goes crazy, and I don't want the cream to fly everywhere. So I'm going to put it in and kind of cover it with my hand. Because I don't want to... Uh... It doesn't feel like it's coming out. I don't see any on my hand. Okay, here. Well, some of it's starting to come out. Oh, dear. Did you ever, when you were in school... Now, I know, when I was in kindergarten or first grade and we did this, well, that was a, a very long time ago. There, it's frothing up some. Uh, I think I'll leave it like that. And we put heavy cream in a jar and then we kept passing the jar around the classroom so that everybody could have a turn shaking it up to make butter. <laughs> and we shook and shook and shook that jar until we had butter. So I don't want butter. What I've got is basically whipped cream. I didn't, you know, whip it all the way up, but um, I thickened it up. Why? Oh, just for fun. Let me turn that overhead light off. Okay, so, you know, lately I have been enjoying, let me get this out, the um, Milano Intenso. Let me read, why have I been enjoying it? Um, because it has 
dark cocoa and toasted cereal notes, undoubtedly. It also says, uh, finding a balance with a jammy fruity note and shimmer of spice. Well, I've been enjoying it for whatever reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, does this, can I also make a lungo out of this? Nope, okay, see here? See how the lungo is sort of grayed out? And so this is not for making as a lungo. So I'll make, oh golly, well I already put it in. I was just thinking, I've got so much cream in there, but really it's not that much. It was just a tablespoon. And you know what I can do? I, with my pixie, I can add more hot water, okay? And I think I'm going to do that. Golly, I could even mix it up more with a hand mixer. It's not a hand mixer. It's a immersion blender. That's what they're called, <laughs> immersion blender. Okay, well, let's see, what is... I have a comment from Blair Elizabeth. That was the best butter in grade school. Yes, we did the shaking and then we got to eat it on crackers. Yes, that's what we did too. Oh my goodness. So there it is, you know, oh gosh. I'm so tempted to, wait, let me turn the other light on again. Okay, so when you eat something really good, do you, you know, just wanna, you wanna lick the bowl or lick the spoon or whatever. Thought maybe I could get the rest of this cream off of here. You know, oh. All right, if I turned this on, well, would it splash all over? What do you think? If I, you know, because there's more in here. You know, when you just, I'm gonna try it. I can always change my clothes if I have to. All right, I'm gonna put my hand over it and I'm gonna try. My hand, oh, just a couple of drips, okay. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always better to, you know, keep your hand over the thing. All right, so let's we'll have some better mood lighting here. Here, we'll go by the candle. So, all right, I'm going to give it a try. I know it's going to be good. I cannot think of anything that you could add heavy cream to and it would not be good. Well, I don't know, maybe pizza or something, but you know. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Although pizza does have, you know, cheese on it and the, yeah, I bet you could add heavy cream to pizza and it would be good too. Not quite in the same way as this. Mm. That is delicious. So he, oh gosh, that's good. So I wanna show you just one other thing here. So, you know, my orchid has been uh, blooming and then put out a second spike with blooms on it um, from the first one. So it started up there and I'll go around here and some of them are still working on opening. And do you know what? It actually, in the evenings, puts out a scent. If you stick your nose right by it, like now, you can just detect a slight perfume. But in the evening, I was walking by there and I thought, oh, what is that? Is that one of my scented candles, which I don't burn, I just burn them for a little while in the morning. And I thought, well, maybe I, you know, just sort of caught a whiff of one. No, it was the orchids just putting out 
you know, more scent than they do in the morning. So that was a really lovely surprise. And I wonder if I never noticed it before because I've never had a double cluster of blooms. So I don't know, but it's really nice. Well, okay. Here's to heavy cream. <laughs> Beat up into some espresso. I hope you have a wonderful day today. And oh, so um, I have one, one question. Do I do the Nespresso auto delivery? No, absolutely not. Because like when they come out with new things, you know, I want to be able to try them. And really, I like so many of the coffees. Golly, if I did the auto delivery, oh, I'd have to go to the poorhouse. <laughs> so this is one area I do discipline myself in. I try to use up um, at least half of my coffees before I order more, unless there's something new that intrigues me, and then I will buy, you know, like one sleeve of it. But yeah, I always do buy at least $35 worth to get the free shipping. And if necessary, if I get something and I don't particularly care for it, my daughter and I might split it. <laughs> or one of us, you know, pay the other one and just buy it um, if one of us likes it better than the other. Well, okay. Have a lovely day.